Well, there is a reason why Kenya it is in the state it is in right now. One of the major issues is that um, the state, I mean the government of William Ruto, forgot that people need to have food. They forgot that people need to have money. They forgot that overtaxation leads to closure of businesses. Because if you tax more, if I'm a manufacturer, I will have to sell these products that I'm manufacturing at a higher price, of which Kenyans who cannot even fend for their needs will not be interested in purchasing it. So the only thing I will have to do is to close the shop, to close the industry. That means it leads to no jobs. It leads to many jobless youths. Okay? And so when life becomes tough, these people have no otherwise than to come for the main government that is not putting in place policies that can be good for a country. So my, uh, my analysis now is to tell you, to analyze what the president should do to spearhead this nation to prosperity. One thing is he should know <clears throat> he was elected and um, if he was sworn in as a president, let him get a competent cabinet. People with brains, guys. With a cabinet does not need people like Aisha Jumo or people like Moses Kuria. Yeah, we do not need those kind of people. We need people who are experienced, who are competent enough, and people of integrity to steer the nation to work for the president and this country to work for the legacy of the president so that people will remember him. Because this country is now going, if we continue like this for the next two years, I think this country will be done. So another thing the president should do, he should sack all those uh, all his people in parliament, people like Moses, uh, no, people like uh, Imani Chumwa, Imani Kuria. These people, are very arrogant and they just care about themselves. They do not care about someone like Kimani Kure is a drunkard, you know. And that is the, is the same person we want for we want him to decide for us, to do stuff for us, which it doesn't make sense. Let the president check his parliamentary committees and fix them. Remove these guys who are there and put new ones if this parliament will not be dissolved. Because from what I hear is that maybe this government will not reach 2027. Another thing he should do is that he should not uh, allow our education sector to go in uh, to the way it is right now. We need a competent person. Look for a professor or someone, a scholar who can be ahead our education system not to die the way it has died in the past two years. The NHIF should not be removed. Fix it. Do not spend money changing it. Fix the one that is there. If you believe it's not working, fix it to work. Do not try to change to another one because that is money involved. We want to minimize these kind of things. Because if you change even branding itself, I know you will say it's like one billion to brand to the new thing that you've come up with. So shift, forget about it. Work on whatever is there. Uh, another thing the president should do is that he should try to speak facts and truth and he should stop talking and start working because he has been talking the way he was talking in 2022 when he was campaigning he's still talking the same way now like now he wants to meet the gen z's you campaigned as a president you said you want to do this and this and this for the people now, I was in another forum where Jimmy Wanjiki was saying the money that you are saying you are paying for Europe and I don't know or for what, this money has been shared among the political elites. 
and for us as citizens what i will tell you mr president is that you cannot come to cry for us on us that you are paying this money because we don't know where the money went to this money never entered the country eurobond money so if you are paying that kind of amount people who took it let them return it to you to pay back we are not going to pay money you you don't cry to us about the money that the political elites which government in in the same government you are squandered this money and shared among themselves so forget about that those are your problems and your political elites the people you inherited this presidency from for us we need to see work reduce the taxes and so that people can invest more and with that you will collect more revenue because if you increase taxes more businesses will cross for instance if taxes are low you can have 100000 businesses therefore we will be able to collect taxes small 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 from 100000 businesses then increase taxes and we, we the businesses will shut down and reduce to 1000 so you have to collect revenue from 1000 businesses of which it will be small for you so focus do not focus more on overtaxing the citizens who are already overburdened with a lot of stuff another thing we need to do is that uh, primary education should at least be free yeah it should be free it should not be we should not pay so mr president i hope you have listened and uh, we hope if you survive this gen z thing you will wake up from your sleep because you are still sleeping i've seen that the president has already gone back to campaigning mode in nakuru yesterday of which is very unfortunate i don't know what his is the problem the president is having because he is still campaigning since he was sworn in it is very unfortunate that's why the ministers were just there was nothing that has been going on in this cover in this in his cabinet so we want to see a functional country we don't want to see a, a country whereby someone comes with a watch and tells you this watch is 50 million this belt is 400,000 this this is this this so we don't need people who are stealing money and bragging in broad daylight we don't need to see a, an mp who doesn't have business owning a chopper and he has not even been an mp for two terms he's not yet even 10 years he has a chopper so this kind of scenarios we need to work you should you know you, you the president should fight corruption he should make sure that no money is wasted no money is lost he can do it but the question is does he want to work or he doesn't want we don't know what the president wants so we hope he will be able to work so thank you guys in case you are watching this video for the first time on this channel kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel subscribe guys it won't take you even uh, a lot of energy just press subscribe and that is it so thank you and uh, let us meet in our next analysis and uh, we hope to move forward thank you guys